Hey guys, Mike back again here. I wanted to show you. I dug that out down there real deep. And look at that, it's an old, old brooch. I mean, that sucker is old. That thing was, to me, it was deep. It was down there. It was down there about that deep. So it's 10 inches to the end of my head here. So that would put it around eight and a half inches on that target there. I guarantee you that's something. It's old, I don't know if it's very valuable or not. But it's definitely a brooch. And you can see the, you can see the pendant there on the back. See the pin right there and the hook mark. Like I say, I don't know if it's super old but, or super good or anything. It may not be gold, but it's old. I'll clean it up, but I'm happy to have that. That's awesome. Two digs. Got an Indian. And I got this dude right here. So, pretty good deal. Yeah, that's what it is. Boy, it didn't come in as a very good signal. It must have been because it was on edge or deep or something, but pleased to have that so I'll lay that there and I'll put this up here with my Indian so I got two finds an Indian 1894 old brooch two holes I'm happy about that all right let's go on and see if we can get something else starting off to be a real good morning it's cold out though she's only about 28 29 the ground's still digging good a lot of rotter you know but uh, just having a great morning here looking around so hopefully we can get some other good targets see you in a little bit I'm gonna show you why that last target probably came up like it did this was also in the hole right next door to it this piece of old foil so it's probably bouncing signals off that too, so anyway. That's that's what happens a lot of times. You get them old readings and they don't come off real clear. But you gotta dig them. Because a lot of times those are the ones that if somebody else has hunted, they didn't dig. So that's what happens. Alright, let's see if we can get something else, guys. Hey guys. I just want to show you something here. Multiple targets in one hole. We had two different readings out of this hole, and one was this nail, which I believe it to be a horseshoe nail. Don't think it's a screw, I think it's a flathead horseshoe nail. It's real old, it's deep. And the other one was that piece of lead that rolled up. This was deeper, this is shallower. This is about eight, nine inches, this is about probably at four. Same hole, two, two items. That happens a lot. You just gotta watch your machine, and if you think it might be something good, it could have been a coin in there with that nail. And if it would have been, then I'd have been a lot happier than what I am right now. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, I'm gonna live dig this one. I've got me a new setup here. I'll see how it works out. It's a little tripod I got. I've had it for a long time. And I'm gonna try it out here. Let's see how it works. See that or not? All right. Because I got tired of trying to hold the dang camera and dig at the same time. Try something a little bit new here. And I don't know how it's going to work out or how it's going to look. Sounds like it's in this top part here. It ain't 
very deep. It's probably something new right here. I think I knocked it out. There it is. Wow, it's some sort of copper pin or something. Yeah. Alright, we'll clean it up. I don't know what it is. Not a coin though. Keeping it real here. Alright, on to the next one. I'll show you this guys. This is a hot rock. Piece of coal. It's mineralized rock. It's real light probably a piece of coal there's several of those little hits right in here and it's probably what it is all these are hot rocks they read real high in your in my my machine anyway some of them like some of the machines like to say hot rock but that's what it looks like and they're all different sizes and shapes this is real light I dig these every once in a while and they come in usually in as good signals there come in good on the pinpointer too so we here pinpointer hits it good so that's one of the things you got to watch out for see what else we can get sweet man I almost didn't dig it because it rang up Jeff just numbers. dug this up here it looks like it's an eagle with a it's got some stuff in its claws and it's got a, something over its head there pretty neat find though don't know how old it is don't know if it's Civil War type eagle or newer. Definitely an eagle. Don't know what it came off of, but it's a pretty good find. Stuff like that's just usually one of a kind things. Really neat. All right, let's see if we can get something else. All right, guys, we're right in here. I'm up with Jeff. Went to another permission. It's 840 West College Street, Historic Route 66. You can see the sign there. And so, this is one of the older parts of Springfield. Super old houses in here. This red thing right here has been remodeled and redone. I know all the yards have probably been hit before, for sure, but I just jumped with my first weed of the day. And it's not real old, I don't think, but it's a wheat. Boy, there's a lot of trash around here, though. I ain't kidding you. Pop pull tabs and everything like we're crazy. But she's a weedy. Just looked like it's in the 40s. That's all right, I'll take it. I've struggled to get anything after my Indian head. That was it, boy. So, anyway, got a wheat. So, let's see if we can get a few more here. Make sure I don't drop it. All right. Just warmed up a little bit. Probably about 35 now. Still cold though. Hey guys and girls. Missouri Mike back again for a new year of hunting. 2016. I hope I have a good year. Of course, I say that every year, but I went hunting the other day and the ground wasn't froze or anything. And I hunted one of the older street, streets, excuse me, in Springfield. It was a Walnut Street, which was one of the main streets that. Uh, was there whenever the town was built down by the square back in 1829 and I hunted a big two-story home which I know had been hunted probably several times and I didn't find a lot I really didn't it was kind of a lame trip that way but I did find a good one or two so I kind of want to show you what I found there I went out with my friend Jeff and he found a few nice items also and I found a few nice targets also. So I want to show you what I did here. Basically, probably one of the fewest coins I ever found. I found five, five zinc pennies. That's all I found. No dimes, no quarters, no anything. I've got a horseshoe nail here. Looks like it's off a horseshoe. Old, crusty nail. 
got a piece of scrap lead here got a piece of roll lead here strap lead I call it hunk of iron and I got a car which I cut it in half when I did that it's an older Batmobile car that thrill all this before the Hot Wheels come out that's pretty cool got one 1964 uh, Lincoln Memorial it's pretty nice I tumbled that one now my oldest one I had this place on College Street which was just trashed all up I had a two two permissions and this is my only coin I found there that was anything at all and that was a wheat penny 1944 on the wheat it was down too far but that ground was really corrosive there I felt like got a couple good finds here I found this brooch now this gave a terrible signal when I dug it so I mean it was just all over the place bouncing around I probably shouldn't have dug it but I went ahead and dug it anyway and this is what I got it was down pretty deep but it was probably 10 inches plus on the depth a fairly deep item and it's an older brooch but I don't think it's real gold or anything I think it may have some stones in it here at one time you can see it's got a pin on the back where the pin would have went and it's got like a uh, stem there but at one time I think this was really pretty uh, of course it doesn't look very good now but it was a deep target and when it hit it hit really all over the place it had no no definite place that it hit at all so I got that and then my best coin was this 1894 Indian really a nice green tone that coin was sitting right on edge right up against a round root and uh, well I tell you what I think it's gonna be a nice one it's uh, I'm gonna do a toothpick clean on it but uh, it's not just super super great shape and, but it's, it's wore down but it's still a real legible date so that's my first Indian there. Super happy to have it. Good start to the year for me. First hunt of the year. So I would call it a success. So keep watching. I'll have more videos up this year. And hopefully I can get to filming a little better on these videos. I'm not definitely not a professional at filming and I'm definitely no good at the video editing part. So anyway until the next hunt, this is Mike, and I'm out.